here at the campground. Oh, broke board. I'll put it in the fireplace. I'm at a campground called, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's Waco, H-U-A-C-O. I'm just north of New Braunfels. And it's a beautiful place, as you'll see on this video. And so I'm just gonna enjoy the evening. Uh, just left San Antonio, I'll stay here tonight. Take my time in the morning packing up after our breakfast and go to my next destination. So while I'm on this trip and while I'm doing this video, I'm going to show a few different things, a few techniques, uh, especially building a fire. I'll be using uh, a ferro rod uh, with uh, striking it with sparks and setting a fire. I'll also use steel and flint to uh, make a fire. And so we need to always have more than one trick up our sleeve when it comes to making a fire. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I'm going to enjoy making it. So let's, uh, let's get unpacked and let's get the tent put up. Well, as you can see, I got the tent deployed. It didn't take but about three minutes to get it up. I went and found a few dry twigs for my kindling, and this is what I'm going to be using to try to start this fire tonight. I broke up a lot of fine twigs out of the top of these little branches, and here are the branches themselves. It's all really dry wood. It should go up very quickly. This is a campground that doesn't let you forage for firewood, so they supply it for a cost up at the main store. So I bought a $10 bundle, and. Uh, we should be able to get it uh, on fire here shortly. Trees are a lot of uh, limbs and leaves and needles that have fallen over time. And they're just as dry and brittle as they can be. So they should make real good fodder and real good tinder to start my fire. I'm going to build what's called a bird nest with all of this in front. And then I'll, uh, I'll strike my sparks into this and it should be able to give me a flame so we're going to try it now all right so i've got the bundle that i'm going to use as my bird nest that should catch on fire with a spark pretty quick but to uh, to hold it i've stripped off some damper bark off of this uh this wood and i'm just going to put it in a pile like so so i can hold it better when it does catch on fire here and hold the rock and I'll get uh, a lot of my dried sticks ready to put on it as soon as I catch it on fire. It brought me a bag of lint that comes right out of the dryer that's very dry and it catches sparks real quick and I also brought cotton balls they can be used as well so I'm going to take some lint that came out of the dryer Stick it in my bird nest. And now I'll try to strike it on fire. And it looks like we've got fire. weather call uh, for cloudy and a chance of rain today and tomorrow and Saturday, but a good sunny day on Sunday. So uh, I'll just take it as it comes and 
at least I'll have Sunday to dry out the tent when I'm ready to go home. Tonight I decided to use my camp stove instead of cooking over the fire. I don't know what the weather's going to be like tonight and I might want to get an early start in the morning. So I'm just going to keep it as clean as I can. I'm just going to enjoy a fire tonight. For breakfast, I've got, uh, got coffee that I'm going to strain through the paper towel. And for supper, I've got bacon and I've got eggs nice big jumbo eggs and in those eggs I'm going to be putting pico de gallo and some purple onions. I also bought some mushrooms with green onions to kind of flavor it up a little bit and then I always top it off with some cheese. So as soon as the skillet gets hot we'll start putting the, the, the food in there. Okay, I'm not quite finished uh, dinner, but I thought that since the fire is still burning and I still have some light, I need to go into my next phase of creating a fire. Now what I'm getting ready to do is gather some punk wood and char it over the fire. I'll show you what I'm doing and I'll explain it later.
punk wood is that dry, uh, almost rotten wood. It's white in color. It's very spongy. And it's just rotten wood. They call it punk wood. And uh, some process is to put a hole in this lid when you put it in the fire. And uh, other people don't. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to put a hole in my little tin. I'm just going to put it on rather loosely. And I'll show you what happens. Can't get this phone, this camera, too close to the fire. But what we're doing is creating a process of charring some of that punk wood. If you just put wood in the fire, it burns up. Because to burn, you've got to have three elements. You've got to have fuel, you've got to have heat, and you've got to have oxygen. And what you're doing whenever you're creating a char material, whether it's uh, fabric I put in there, or whether it's wood that I put in there, uh, I'm depriving it of oxygen, but I'm applying heat and fuel to it, but no oxygen. And therefore, it won't consume itself, it won't burn, but it will char into something that will look like charcoal. And when it cools off, and then you strike a flint against a steel and create a spark, that spark will jump on that, uh, that charred material and catch an ember on there and it'll continue to stay burning until you put it out. So that's a great way to make a fire. In a moment we ought to see smoke coming out of the edges of the lid. We ought to see fire coming out because it's the gases that are coming off of that punk wood. I can see the fire on the edge of the rim, if you can. Now when the fire is finished and the smoke is finished coming out of that can, then I can take it off and let it cool off because our, our punk wood will be charred.
evening I tried my hand at metal detecting to see if I could find anything in this rocky ground and I did. I found a lot of coins out here. I haven't even looked very far at all. Just maybe three of these campsites and I'll show you what I found. Found uh, quarters, dimes, and mostly pennies. But, amazing, they all had God's name on them. That's what gave them worth. Michael would be happy to know that I bought myself a reciprocating saw after he saw me painfully using a handsaw to cut wood. So tonight I cut my first piece of firewood with my reciprocating saw and it cut it real quick. So I'm going to put it in the fire. Well, it's about 8 o'clock in the evening. We've had a wonderful day. I have. Uh, me and this camera. <laughs> I've had a great fire and a great meal. And it's going to be a great night. Very comfortable. Looking forward to it. So, shortly I'm going to wrap it up and get in the sack. And I'll see you in the morning for Points Beyond.